Hi, I'm James Bezzetta and I'm here with Justin Stein from Competition Subaru and we're here to look at the brand new 2024 WRX TR. In this video, we're going to cover the differences between the standard WRX and the new TR trim level. We're also going to cover the differences between the 2023 and the 2024 WRX. We're going to go over a couple of really neat accessories that this car has that come from the Subaru parts department and then we're going to drive it and get an impression from that. Unique on the new TR are these 19 inch tires. <clears throat> these are the Bridgestone Potenza S007s. It's a summer performance tire and they're wrapped around uh, specialized wheels designed specifically for the TR. Uh, it has a gunmetal type flat gray finish behind the wheel to accommodate the larger rotor, which is now cross drilled and it's one inch larger than the standard WRX. We also have the Brembo calipers. It's a six piston setup in the front and this all connects now into a uh, larger brake booster now that the car has for improved stopping distances and less brake fade. Other changes to the TR include some really interesting accents in the interior and these awesome Recaro bolstered seats. Um, I, I have sat in the Recaros that are in the previous VA WRX and STI and quite frankly these are much much more supportive. I found that in previous models the side bolstering was pretty good but there wasn't quite as much on the bottom. This car has both very supportive bolstering on the side and the bottom, and it would hold both parts of your body in place in any sort of more aggressive driving. And the changes to the interior don't stop with the Recaro seats. In addition to that, you have the ultra suede finish on both the dashboard and the door. Those are accessories that you can add to any WRX, but it comes standard on both the TR and the GT. So following that, uh, everything else is pretty similar. The same suede material, although the back seats aren't Recaro's, they have the same finish with the ultra suede in this really dark gray. And if you take a look towards the top of the car, you have extended headroom, which is perfect for taller people, or if you put on a helmet and track days, and you can see at the top, there is no sunroof. The TR cannot come equipped with a sunroof, unlike you you would have in a premium or a limited. Um, it cannot be configured with one um, to make the car not only more reliable, but to, to make it lighter and also have a lower center of gravity. Here in the back of the 2024 WX TR, things aren't too much different. You'll notice that the seats over here are about the same finish that you have in the cars up front. It's just nice that they match. Um, the legroom is fantastic. I have this seat set to where I would typically have set it uh, when I'm driving. Um, I'm five foot ten, so I'm not the tallest person, but you know, um, I have plenty of room. I sat in a GR Corolla and I didn't have that much room. I found that my knees were right up against the seat in that car. In this car, I have plenty of space. Um, so two five foot ten people could sit front to back, no problem. I'm perfectly comfortable. I'm actually shockingly comfortable back here. Um, and there's a couple of neat things to note back here. Um, you have the center rest with the cup holders, and the other, um, you also have the uh, standard Harman Kardon uh, sound system with the 2024 WX TR trim level. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, and in addition to that, I, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be constructed this way, but if you take a look at the floor mats, there's a tire imprint. I've never noticed that with any other WRX. I'm not 100% sure if that's exclusive to the TR, but there's an imprint of a tire over here on the inside part of the floor mat, which I thought was really cool. That's just a really neat Easter egg and a cool attention to detail by Subaru. You could tell that this car was clearly made for an enthusiast. Uh, some provisions that they've made to the WRX for the 2024 model year are the new brake booster, which has been updated for all manual transmission cars. In addition to that, they've revised the steering system. It's an electronic steering system in the car to give you better feedback, better road feel. And finally, they've also updated these, every manual car now has the EyeSight system in the front, uh, which is Subaru Safety Suite, uh, which was never previously available for any manual transmission cars. In addition to the fact that this is a 2024 WRX TR, there are some cool accessories that you can get on any WRX that are here that I actually want to make a special note of just because they're really neat. The first one being the short throw shifter. So that's something that just makes the throw a little bit shorter. Um, I actually really like the Subaru one. Um, to me, it may not be quite as short as some people like, and it's not something you'd certainly find in a race car, but it makes it a little bit shorter, a little, a little bit more defined and sharper, but it also, it's not like too much, it's just kind of perfect. Um, in the WRX, the throw is a little bit different to me than it was in the VA WRX, um, but you know, I, I just, I really like the way it feels. 
So another accessory that this car has is the accessory OEM STI front lip. This is an option that you can put on the car. It can't come equipped with it from the factory, but it's something that can be added by a dealer or yourself after the fact. It can be purchased out of the parts department. Um, I really like the way it looks. It just makes the front end a little bit more aggressive in a subtle way. That's not too over the top. Um, and I like the little STI badge in the middle, letting you know it came from STI Japan. Um, there are two different uh, options in terms of colors. You can get the STI um, cherry, uh, cherry Blossom Red, or you could do the gloss black. This black looks like crystal black to me because it's got a little bit of metallic in it. Um, but I just, I really love the way it looks. You can also get an accessory OEM Subaru front grille. Um, that's a, a black grille, uh, but I personally just like the, um, the standard gray one. I think it looks really nice with the gray wheels. Another change to the WRX, which might seem somewhat insignificant, is the return of traditional turnstock on the car. On the older version of the WRX, uh, last year's model of 2023, when you push the turn signal down, it would kind of just float back up to the upright position. You weren't really sure if the turn signal was actually engaged. But now what they've done is they brought back traditional turn stock, push it down. When you make the turn, it will return to the top of position. Lastly, this car comes equipped with the OEM STI exhaust. Uh, this is an exhaust that was designed by STI for the VBWRX, and I think it actually sounds really nice. Um, it's not round like it is on the standard car. It's a, a little bit of a different shape. Um, you know, aesthetically speaking, it, it has to be your type of thing, but you'll notice that um, the muffler is quite a bit smaller if you take a look underneath there. Um, and it just, it, it has a nice pronounced sound, but it's not too much. It's kind of a nice middle ground, especially I plan on, on, on driving this car a lot, so it's, it's perfect for me. Seems to be a little bit more linear, which they said was going to happen with this 2.4 liter engine, uh, SF824 engine. Uh, but, uh, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Now that we, we have a little bit more going on here, um, the steering is uh, it's a little stiffer, but it's definitely confidence inspiring. You know, we're driving a little bit more aggressive, and I'm very, very sure of all my inputs. Um, and everything feels really nice. I love this car. I love the way it drove. I love the way it handled. Perfect balance, uh, the suspension, the brakes, everything. This is daily drivable and just a little bit push over the edge to make it even more fun to drive every day. James, I know you're going to track this car because this is your car. Well, I was just about to mention, I mean, I like it so much that I got one myself. So this is my car. I want to put in World Rally Blue to uh, be kind of in uniform with their racing heritage. And uh, I, I plan on driving the car. I might even take it to the track a little bit to Lime Rock, walk in the spine, something like that. Um, I currently do that with my 2018 Type RA. So it'll be really interesting to see the contrast from a VASTI to the VBRTR. Fantastic car. We love it. Absolutely. And if you want, come down and uh, we have one here to see. So uh, come down, feel free to come take a look and, uh, and see it. Thanks.